Hello, and this is again for UK here, and you with Jordan, and I'm going to be bringing you some more Rome Total War Barbarian Invasion Part 2 of 3. Now, today I've never done this before, I've always done proper matches, even matches. Um, I'm not playing online because barely anyone goes on Barbarian Invasion because I honestly I think it's underrated, and I think more people should play on it because it's just as good. Um, but today I'm just going to be doing a me vs. computer one. Uh, as you can see, human player, CPU player. Now it's on Moon River or something like that, Moonlight River, uh, where it's just one bridge across. I think you can get across on the right side or the left, I'm not sure. But what I've done, because I, I want to see how this goes, I put the computer on hard, I think. Hard, or I don't know if there's one above that, but I've put it on one of them. Uh, I am the Sassadins or something, and they're the Roman Western Empire rebels. Now I've already sorted out the troops, and I've made it very uneven. But I want to see how they do. Now I have got twelve units of gold, gold, gold elephants, which each I think I don't know if it's each or them all together come to you know sixteen thousand eight hundred ninety denarii. Uh, and then I've got some cafracs. I've got seven, uh, eight of them. So at fifty four each. So as you can see, the Sassassins have quite some good units. Uh, Superb Karalu, both men and horses, armored from head to toe. So yeah. That's quite good. Uh, Denari used. Look at that. Three, 307,560. And I've only got 864 soldiers. Now the computer. I have given them. Peasants. Right? But they're gold, gold, gold peasants. And you get 128. So they actually have way more units than me. They have 2,400. When I only have not even 1,000. Uh, and they've used less denarii, a lot less denarii. So I just want to see how this would go, to be perfectly honest with you. And I thought I'd do a video about it, because I need a part two, but because my computer isn't that good, it can barely run this. Um, it kind of takes a piss to upload videos to YouTube, so it's not going to be a long one. Uh, part, three, part three won't be long either. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoy. Um, and yeah, we will be doing, I don't think it's uploaded yet, but we will be doing um, Mount and Blade Let's Play Part 2 um, this Saturday. Something like that, it will be uploaded this Saturday. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd let you know. just thought I'd let you know that it will be uploaded by then. Uh, yes, you can get over on the right there. Uh, you can also walk straight across and if you have archers, they can walk straight up this wall here. Which is pretty stupid to be quite honest because I just walk up there um, so yeah but what I am going to do is put them there now I did want uh, a whole army of just elephants but I thought now nah, I'll send my cavalry across first and uh, then the elephants but what I'm going to do is see if they respond at all and try and get across the bridge or you can get across on the left there as well um, what I'm going to do is see if they respond and holy shit yeah look how many oh that's a lot of elephants what, yeah. what I was going to do is see if they would respond and uh, is there anywhere I can set my in twos two by two by two Ooh. Might be a bit wonky, but don't worry about it. It'll be fine. This is how you set up elephants, everyone. This is how you do elephants. Not do them, do them, this is how you just set them up. Holy shit, how come they're more... Oh, I've got the third one in there. That means I've got four of them. Bloody hate it when things go wrong. I would restart this video, but I really can't be asked. And as you can see, it's quite laggy. And I, I'm trying not to make this video long. Uh, I take my time with my setup procedures. Um, I mean, never kill 2 k 12 has also got an account on YouTube. And if you watch some of his, he, um, he sets his up really, really fast. Fucking done it again, Anna. I? 
Let's hope this goes better. From there. There we go. Right, as you can see, got quite a lot of units, right? Let's just start and uh, see what happens. And there's a lot of them already. So what I'm going to do is send... Oh, they're coming down there. Tell you what I'll do. I mean, since they're both coming round either way, instead of going across the bridge like I was hoping they would, I'm just going to go straight across the bridge. The professional way to do it. Straight across the bridge we go. you got to be careful with elephants as well, because they will knock your troops over. Uh, I'm hoping they won't hear. But I'm hoping my men get across this bloody bridge quick. Come on, double time. There we go. I think if I fast forward the gameplay, it might help. There we go. My elephants seem to win straight across the water. speed. Uh, I don't know why they're going all the way up there, to be perfectly honest with you. But as you can see, my element elephants should be demolishing them. Look at all the dead bodies. Floating dead bodies because my elephants are just running right through. What I could do actually is just... I could get less if there's any point in killing them to be perfectly honest with you. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's pretty easy outcome. You already know what's going to happen. So, yeah, I'm just going to fast forward up this gameplay because I can remember I can't have the video that long. Um, yeah, as you can see, what's happening is we're demolishing them. Every last one of them look at that. If, if you would, Look at all of the dead bodies in the water. <laughs> They're from my elephants because they just stampede. Um, now, once what we actually did, me and my mate, uh, I think we uploaded it, I'm not sure. Uh, but what we actually did is we had a shield wall all around there, and um, they had elephants. And they brought them right through, and we had our spears and we were stabbing them. And all this infantry and cavalry followed behind. Now, what his elephants did up at the top of the bridge, closest to us, we stabbed them. They started retreating, ran back along, back along the bridge, and hit all of his units and made them all retreat. So the fight was over within not even two minutes, because it just straight me and then go away. So yeah, so I would suggest using elephants if you're not on one of these bridges, because they will stamp anything out of the way and anything I mean anything cavalry artillery units uh, arches if they don't if they have the skirmish mode on they don't run they will stamp anything uh, if any of you have this game or are gonna get it I would suggest getting it. it's just like Rome but different units that's it uh, I'll end it there, I can't be asked chasing them down with elephants. Um, and uh, be quiet, be quiet. Um, so yeah, you can see it was a pretty good outcome there, especially for me. Um, yeah, that, that's part two, I just wanted to have a quick good battle. Part three will probably be an outnumbered battle, probably me against them, but them and an upgrade. No upgraded units, and it would be just berserk because they're somewhat good. I'd like to see your comments and see what you'd like to see for part three. As always, thank you for watching, and it's been the Game Boy UK.